Hey, how are you? I hope you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk a little bit today about cryptocurrency investing for beginners. And the point of today's talk, the point of today's presentation is get rich by following the money. It was it was in a movie in 1976, All the President's Men. The reporter was in an underground parking garage and the shadowy figure said in a deep, raspy voice, follow the money. And that's exactly what we're going to do, but we're going to do this for a different purpose. Instead of trying to impeach a president, we're going to follow the money for the purpose of getting rich. So the first thing I need to let you know is I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I am not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. So the first place that we're going to follow the money is we're going to look at Bitcoin over, the, over, its, over its existence, over time. And I, I want to talk to you about if you had $1,000 and you bought Bitcoin, you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on January 1, 2017, and then three years later you sold it. Um, now, it's not been three years since 2017 because we're currently in October. Um, this, this figure here was calculated on October 10th, 2019. The value of that $1,000 today would be $8,640. And if you did the same thing in 2016 and held it for three years, it would be worth $8,900. If you bought it in December, uh, January 1 of 2015 and sold it December 31st of 2017, $1,000 in a three-year period would have been worth $43,984. And the very, very best time to have bought and held Bitcoin for three years was its very first year, starting in January 1, 2011, until December 31st, 2013, when it would have been worth $2.6 million. That is huge. In the last eight years, the annual compound interest uh, you would have accumulated from owning Bitcoin was 235%. Now, I don't know of any other investment in the world where you could have bought it and made a compound annual interest of 235%. Most investments are only going to make you 20%. So $1,000 in a year, you might have 200 bucks if you put it in the right place. So to be talking about more than doubling your money every eight years, your compound interest rate for the last eight years has been 235%. That's phenomenal. So the first area that we follow the money is we're looking at the historical patterns of Bitcoin, and those have been quite spectacular. But let's look at something more current. And in order to understand what I'm about to talk about, I need to give you a little bit of education about Bitcoin addresses. Now this long sequence of letters and numbers is a Bitcoin address. And when you own Bitcoin, your address identifies that it's basically like a wallet or it's, it's the address where that money is located. And then you have a set of private keys that allow you to trade the Bitcoin. Now, this particular address has a huge amount of Bitcoin that's been moving in and out of it. The total amount of Bitcoin received has been uh, 541,000 Bitcoins. And the current balance in this address is 163,000. Now, an address can be completely anonymous. You don't have to reveal who you are or give any kind of information to the Bitcoin blockchain in order to have ownership of an address, your ownership is your private keys. And so if you lose those private keys, you no longer have access to those funds at that address. Um, conversely, if you have the private keys to a particular address, then you can do anything you want with the Bitcoin contained in that address. Now, all of this is important because what I'm about to talk to you is some research done by an organization called the Glass Node. 
and the glass node has gone out to the Bitcoin blockchain and it's done some research into all these different Bitcoin addresses, but they've specifically focused on Bitcoin addresses that have more than 1,000 Bitcoin. Now, in the example that we just looked at, the current amount was 163,000. So that definitely would be one of the addresses that this chart is, is charting or graphing. But it's also charting or graphing all of the addresses and showing us the total number. Now, the, let me go to a bigger version of this chart so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So the bigger version, you can see this gray line here. This gray line represents the price of Bitcoin. And the price of Bitcoin is represented... Ah, it's not really... Oh, okay, so this is a logarithmic chart. This is a thousand, this is ten thousand, this is in here are the hundreds or whatever, because at this peak right here, that's twenty thousand dollars. And so this little tick mark is at the twenty thousand dollar price mark. The gray chart the gray line here is the price of Bitcoin in US dollars. The red line here is the number of addresses with one thousand Bitcoin. Now at today's price. 1,000 Bitcoins is worth $8 million. And so we're going to talk about this in reference to an $8 million investment. If, you're, if you've got $8 million and you're going to invest it in something, you're going to do due diligence. You're going to do some research and you might even spend money doing that research before you take $8 million or more dollars. Because some of these addresses, like we just saw one that had... 163,000 Bitcoin and at $8,000 per Bitcoin that gets into the billions of dollars. The people that have access to that address have access to several billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. But that's not, neither here nor there. This red line represents all of the addresses total that are greater than 1,000 Bitcoins. So the point I'm making is that they're worth anywhere from $8 million dollars to a couple of billion, and that's with a B, not an M, a couple of billion with a B uh, dollars worth of value is contained in those addresses. And the reason why I'm stressing that you would be doing some careful due diligence is because those the people who are investing that kind of money can afford to be smarter than the average guy, not because they're actually smarter, but because they can afford to pay for the research and the knowledge that gives them vital information that a lot of the rest of us do not have. And that information helps them make better decisions with where they invest their money. So I want you to take a look at this. This chart starts back here at 2015 when Bitcoin was a couple of hundred bucks. At this point in time, Bitcoin was about two or three hundred dollars. And over time, you can see the price of Bitcoin going up and up. And back here in 2015, there was a sudden surge in the number of addresses with um, 1,000 Bitcoin or more. And it was down here at the bottom. So somebody had an inkling that something was about to happen. And you can see that as the price approaches this $20,000 peak up here, that the dollar amounts or the number of addresses starts to decline. And that's because when it hit this peak, people realized, okay, this is a good time to sell and make a significant profit. Because if they bought a thousand Bitcoin or more back here when it was only worth $300 per coin, <clears throat> when it reached this $20,000 price point, they'd already made approximately a hundred times, a hundred X times their money. And with a hundred X times their money, they're taking, a, uh, taking some profit out of it. But you can see that not that the number of addresses didn't completely go to zero because this line here is 1,500 addresses that have a thousand or more Bitcoin in it. Now here's the interesting thing: this point right here, where it takes a sudden dive, the price of Bitcoin takes a big drop down. That was approximately October, November of 2018. Right now, that was almost exactly a year ago. And that's when Bitcoin took this big drop from around $8,000 or $7,400, somewhere in that ballpark, and dropped all the way down to uh, $3,000 in December. And this, this point here would have been approximately uh, December 
17th-ish, I don't remember the exact day, but it was the middle of December of 2018 is when Bitcoin actually dropped down to $3,200. And you can see that as it's making this sudden drop, the number of addresses is skyrocketing. I mean, it just grew huge in terms of the number of addresses. They added more than 300 new addresses with over $1,000 in Bitcoin. And then after that, it kind of dropped a little bit. And then right here is April of 2019 when Bitcoin started making the climb from around $4,000 all the way up to $14,000. This was that peak um, that we hit, I think it was around July or June, somewhere in there. I think it was July where we actually hit a peak of $14,000. And so you can see that the number of, of people, some of them sold off, some sold off and took a profit because, you know, they bought it when it was down here at $4,000 and then it jumps up to $14,000. And so they've made three times their money in a matter of a few months. And so a few of them took some profit but a few of them, a few other people bought in. Now, everybody's been talking about the sudden price drop of uh, September 23rd, where Bitcoin dropped from, um, I think this price was around 10,000 $10, or $11,000, and it drops all the way down to the $8,000 range, where it's been steady at. Even now, it's right around $8,000 as I'm recording this video. But notice the number of people. Again, we have this giant uh, volume of people adding $8 million into Bitcoin addresses. And so what this shows us, if we're going to follow the money, is that people with $8 million or more, because they may have invested $10 million, they may have invested $15 million, they may have invested uh, $80 million, $800 million, uh, we could do the research and actually go out and look at the Bitcoin uh, wallets and addresses to see, you know, the, the dollar amounts that this represents. But it's there was a lot of money being invested into Bitcoin as this price tanked. And so the, the, the price dropped became an opportunity for those with deep pockets to buy at a lower price. And you'll notice that over this period of time, that's all they're doing. In the last year, since about November, December of 2018, they've just, the number of wallets that have a thousand addresses are constantly growing. And that is a, an extremely bullish sign that shows that these people with a lot of money to invest have a great deal of confidence that they're going to make significant money from their investment. Um, and you know, with normal uh, investments, you wouldn't be able to get this kind of information just to be able to see is big money investing or exiting from a particular asset class. So that's really, really valuable information. Another place that we can get similar information is from a, an organization called Grayscale. Grayscale has a product that's traded on the stock market. If you have a TD Ameritrade or an E-Trade account or one of the other stock brokerage firms that are online, you could buy one of the Grayscale Fund's stocks. It's just a ticker symbol. Uh, I think it's GTBTC, if I remember correctly. Um, but you can look it up if you decide that you're really interested. And Grayscale, because they're publicly traded, has to release certain detailed information. Well, the detailed information shows us that since J December 18th, you can see the amount of money that has been flowing into Grayscale. Now, each one of these bars is the amount of new money that came in that particular quarter, because each bar represents a quarter of a year. And from December of uh, uh, 2018, which was the third quarter of 2018, they were quite a bit below uh, $50 million for that quarter. And then it jumps up and it's just shy of $50 million for the quarter. Here it's at $100 million, but they just released the information for the third quarter of 2019, which is July, August, and September. And in July, August, and September, look at this spike it jumps up to $250 million, and that's in, uh, 
I, I saw another um, chart and they basically described where that money came from and 95% of that money was institutional investors. Investors that have a million dollars or more to invest that's an instit- that's what they classify as an institutional investor and the total amount of money that grayscale or the total amount of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that grayscale has invested in these funds or held in these funds is almost a billion dollars 948 million were shy of a billion by 50 million dollars so based on their uh, rate of growth they will easily hit a billion dollars before 2020. So with October, November, and December, I would be surprised if this drops down below the $50 million mark. I would expect it to at least be here and possibly quite a bit higher because historically, November and December are the the months with the most growth in the Bitcoin prices happens in November and December. Those are the most profitable months to be invested in Bitcoin. And so if those turn out to be the same, we could see a huge influx of money and price increase over the next few months. If you decide that you want to find out more about Grayscale, you can go to their website. It's grayscale.co, grayscale.co. So... I want to thank you for listening to my brief video here. I hope you found it useful. Uh, If I can be of service to you in any way, please leave a comment below. And as always, please, if you disagree with me, politely uh, politely disagree in the comments below. I'd love to hear from uh, what your opinion is and why you disagree, because that's the best way to learn. You, You know, learning requires... Uh, some disagreement. A difference of opinion is the best way to learn. Um, So anyway, in the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. I hope you have a fantastic day.